Hi guys! Today I have for you guys my February favorites video and I have not filmed a favorites video in forever. I haven't even posted a video in forever but I haven't filmed my favorites video in like two years. The last one was like the summer of a year maybe two years ago so that's a long time and I realized that favorites videos are popular and I'm not, I'm not really too fond of it. I don't really like watching it. I, I'm not really a big fan of it so that's why I don't film it but I realized it is popular on YouTube and since it is towards the end of the month and I haven't really posted much and I'm kind of in the time of my life or within school that I'm not that busy so I could film actually and actually post stuff and all that kind of stuff so I thought you know what let's take a shot at a favorites video so this is why I'm filming this so anyways I have a lot of favorites not really a lot but basically enough um I have beauty non-beauty, I have TV shows, I have songs. I don't have a movie favorite, which is crazy because I go to the movies a lot, but apparently this month I did not go to the movie theater at all, which I am actually very proud of myself because I spend too much money at a movie theater buying like tickets and food and stuff like that, so I'm proud that I didn't go to a movie theater this month, but that means that I don't have a movie favorite, so I apologize. But with that said, let's get started with beauty favorites. The first favorite I want to show you is a foundation that I have been obsessing over. And the bandwagon for this foundation I kind of jumped on a bit late because it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. That's a tongue twister. But anyways, I love this foundation. This foundation is amazing. It, it's amazing. It doesn't cake, which I love. It's not a cakey foundation. Like, I hate cakey foundations. Who likes cakey foundations? No one. So, this doesn't cake. It also, like, stays on your face for a really long time. Like, it doesn't, I don't know, wa wash away or something like that. Like, for a long time. It stays on your face for a long time. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And also, it is very lightweight. I don't like heavy foundations either. Lightweight foundations are the way to go because you don't feel the makeup. You don't feel it on your skin. It is there, but you don't feel it, which is good so I love that and also I love the fact that it's it's a pump and the pump is locked as you can tell so I don't have to worry about it spilling all over my bag when I travel and getting all my other products ruined and getting my bag ruined I don't have to worry about that which is nice and also it's drugstore which is so much better than high-end makeup because it works like a high-end foundation but it's so much cheaper than some high-end foundation so it's a win-win situation for everyone for your paycheck not paycheck for your wallet for your face for everything it's amazing and I recommend everyone to try it out um, even if you think it may not work on you, I still recommend you try it out because it's it's good. And again, you're not spending $24 on a foundation. You're spending $9, which is not that much. So I love it. And if you're wondering, I'm in the shade Golden Tan 857, which I know looking at it side by side from the bottle to my face, it is so dark. And you're going to think that I'm going to have like this darkest face. But it really just isn't because my body... You can't really tell from this lighting because this is horrible lighting, but my body is darker than my face, so I like to get my foundations darker. Um, and also, it kind of goes light on your face. It, this color is not what it will be on your face. It kind of goes light. So that's why I get shades darker than my normal skin tone on my skin because my body's darker and this foundation just goes a little bit lighter on my skin, if that made any sense. But yeah. So, it's not really dark. It works out with my skin. Trust me. But, yeah, one of my favorite foundations. I love it. And I could... I, mm, I love it. That's all I could say is I love it. Okay. Next is a concealer. And this is a concealer by Maybelline. And it is the Fit Me Concealer. I like this concealer as well. Because sometimes I don't wear foundations. Not even sometimes. Most of the time, I do not wear foundations. When I do wear foundations... This is my go-to foundation. But when I don't wear foundation, I still like to cover up my dark circles and redness because I tend to have redness around my nose and on my cheek sometimes. I tend to have a lot of redness. So I like to use a concealer to cover that up. And I have gone through so many concealers, whether it's drugstore, whether it's high-end, whether it's everything. I've tried so many concealers, and this one is probably one of my favorites because it's a thick con con oh, I can't say that word. A thick consistency type concealer. It's amazing. It 
covers up enough and it lasts for a really long time. Yes, it's a concealer and it works well if it's on foundation, so it doesn't last the whole entire day, but it lasts a long time and that's all that matters to me because I know that it won't last the whole entire day because it's just concealer. You know what I mean? So I love it. It's amazing. I suggest you guys try it. I haven't tried the Fit Me foundation, so I might try that next month and maybe it'll be my next month's favorites but I do know that this concealer is amazing and my shade is 35 deep fonts so yeah I love it try it out as well and also it's a drugstore which I love drugstore stuff I love love it um and then next I have blush and bronzer sorry everything is like laid out in front of me and I can't like see which one I want to do next so sorry if I look lost I'm not um, but next one is this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette, I guess you would call it. It's in the shade St. Lucia. I don't know if I said that right, but I love this palette. It's amazing. I use it mostly for bronzer. I have a blush that I'll show you later, but the bronzer is amazing. You can't really tell right now because, again, it's horrible lighting, but the bronzer works wonders. It's perfect, and also since I am darker than usual like not usual but you know I have a dark undertone and I have a dark skin tone that some bronzers don't really work on me like I've tried so many bronzers that are too light for me I've tried so many bronzers that are too dark for me and there's never really that specific bronzer that works well and whoa did it just get dark it just got so dark did it not oh my gosh whatever I'm still gonna film because the sun is still out anyways so yeah, I love it. It works amazing. It's super, super nice. And again, this is the perfect color for my skin. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Why is it so dark? It's only like 4 p.m. What? What's going on? Watch, the sun's going to come back up. Just watch. But yeah, this stuff, holy grail. Love it. Now, I told you I have a favorite blush, and that blush is my NYX blush in the shade Peach, which I don't know why it's in the shade Peach. It's a little bit on the pinky tone, but I love it. It works well for my skin, and it works well with the bronzer, so it's just overall a really good blush. And I love NYX products, and I love NYX blushes, especially their cream blushes, so yeah. I like this one. Try it out. And I think, no, never mind. I still have a lot more makeup favorites. I thought this was my last one, but no, I have two more. Um, but this one is a mascara. This is by Clinique. It's the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, 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 Mascara Double Volume. It gives you a lot of volume. This is a travel size, which I plan on getting the big size because this mascara is amazing. I like it because the brush is super like stiff. It's not flimsy it's like a really stiff brush and I love that I don't know why but it gives your mascara beautiful links beautiful volume I don't know if you can see it but I don't know it gives you beautiful lashes and I love that because I need help in the lash department of my face so I love using this mascara got it I also have a lip product which I'm wearing right now and it is the Avon extra last lasting blush see the sun's coming back out I said blush didn't I I meant lipstick I was just distracted that the sun is coming out again so yeah anyways I have this Avon extra la lasting lipstick and it's in the shade totally twig I was like what is what what's the name totally twig and it's a matte brown I kind of you know dented it in the top oopsies but it's like a nice matte brown color I have been looking for the perfect lipstick for my skin color because again some lipsticks don't work for you some lipsticks work for other people some lips some lipsticks work for other people some lipsticks work for other people there's differences in lipsticks because it is supposed to suit your skin color and your you know face and stuff so I have been trying to find the perfect one and I think this is one of the perfect ones and also it's matte I've seen so many perfect ones that work for my skin but they're glossy and I love them I wear them but when I find something matte I love it even more because I love matte lipsticks matte lipsticks are the best thing in the whole entire world because I just like that kind of look when it's matte and stuff so yeah and again this is Avon so it's not that expensive 
and again it works well with my skin color so that's why it's one of my favorites now my last makeup favorite has to do with these puppies my eyebrows now I have not filled in my eyebrows ever since I wore makeup like I tried to fill it in at one point in my time I think it was like eighth grade year I tried to fill it in never succeeded because it did not look well but now brows are becoming a big thing and I realize it is because brows do frame your face and there's a big difference when your brow is filled in and when it's not filled in and filling in your eyebrows is actually important that's what I realized so I got this kit for Christmas from my auntie it's from Ulta oh god oh my god okay um it's this huge like stuff is falling it's like this huge type brief briefcase thing from Ulta I still have the tag um, again, I got it for Christmas for my auntie. And inside, there's like 35, how many? Oh, no, sorry. 54 eyeshadows. There's powders, brow powders, glitter eye top coats, bronzers, super shiny lip glosses, brush shades, brush, blush shaded, I can't talk, blush shades, highlighters, and eyeliner pencils. So this thing is filled with all things makeup and this puppy is actually another favorite of mine. It's just this whole entire thing. But most importantly, my favorite is this thing right here. And it is the brow powder. As you can see. You can see the brow powder. I use the medium and dark. I use two because I like to fill it in with two different colors and then blend the two colors together. Um, I'll do an eyebrow routine maybe in the future. I'll probably do that. But... Yeah, I've been loving brows. I've been loving doing my brows. And I think that doing my brows makes a big difference on my face. So I use this puppy to do so. So that's why it's one of my favorites. Now, that's everything for beauty. I have a book favorite. My book favorite is The Selection by Kira Cass. I had to read a dystopian book for a dystopian project for my um, school. And I've read so many dystopian books. Dystopian is actually one of my favorite genres. I've read Hunger Games, Divergent, Maze Runner, all these dystopian books. And I had to read something that I never read before. So I heard about this selection from my friend. She fell in love with it. Um, and I love the kind of hopeless romantic type stories too. So that's why I really like this book. It's dystopian, there's romance in it, and there's kind of like this girl who's kind of like a rebel. And I like it when girls I, I know, I'm gonna I don't know I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna sound biased or anything but I like it when women like step up like the Hunger Games and Divergent like that's Tris and Katniss like standing up as a woman I love that so I love this book I'm reading the second one I love it I'm not really reading it as fast I read this book in a week because I had to I kind of procrastinated doing this project so I had to but when I read it in a week I fell in love with it so much and I think it's an amazing book and I think if you love dystopian type books, you should read this one. It's really, really good and it's cute, which I like. So I got that one. And I have a random favorite of the month, which is my notebook. Now this notebook is my planner. I made my own planner because I saw this video on YouTube where this girl was obsessing over this planner and I'm like, that is insane. Why the heck are you obsessing over a planner? And why the heck are planner videos so popular on YouTube? But then I realized that a planner is life-saving and I love those YouTubes who help me organize my planner. But I didn't want to buy my own planner. I had this notebook laying around and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make my own planner because why not? So this book or notebook is from Target and looks like this. And I made it into a planner. I'll show you. So inside here I have like pens and papers and stuff and then I have all these things like I have a calendar, I made my own calendar. As you can tell I made it on my own because my lines are never straight. Um, all these things. Planner is a lifesaver because it keeps you organized. I am a busy person, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of things going on in my life like I made my school's flag squad, I'm on leadership, I'm class representative for my class of 2018 I do band things I do so many things I'm in a quince court so I have so many things and writing them down just helps me keep my life organized this is my life in a notebook and it's amazing I keep this around with me everywhere I go I write down everything my homework's in here all my birthday all the birthdays are in here 
all of my events are in here. Everything is in here and I just love it because I could go to one place. I don't have to remember everything because I could never remember anything. So I don't really have to remember anything. It's just all in here. Now, with that said, I have my music favorites. So, let's get started. All of these favorites will be linked down below. Like, all the things that you can find them in YouTube will be linked down below. But I love Kanye West. I don't know why, but I've been having this amazing obsession with Kanye West. He has been a producing a lot of songs, in my opinion, that are really, really good. I love it. Ever since the Grammys, well, not even the Grammys, before the Grammys, I fell in love with these with his songs because they're actually genuine. They're not, like, dumb rap songs. I'm sorry if I offended someone, but they're genuine and they're really nice, so I love it. So I love Only One. Oh, my gosh, I could sing that song all day. I love it. And I also, I also like 4 or 5 Seconds, which is with Paul McCartney and Rihanna. Their performance on the Grammys were or was amazing i mm, on point love that song i also love love me like you do by ellie golding um in the 50 shades of gray soundtrack i've never read 50 shades of gray and i've never watched the movie and i don't think i'm going to but that song i love like that song i love um and then i also like thinking out loud by ed sheeran it's just a nice song and it's it's you, if you think about the lyrics, it's actually, like, a really, really genuine song. I love it. And then the last song is Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. I've actually recently gotten into that because I heard it on The Ellen Show, I think. And I love it, too. Sam Smith, in general, is amazing. And I'm so glad he won a lot of Grammys at the Grammys. He, I, in my opinion, he deserved it because he has made a lot of hits and whatnot. And then also I have TV favorites. I have my three favorites that I talk about all the time. It's 19 Kids and Counting. Love that show. Love that family. And I love the fact that Jess is getting married. Number two is The Fosters. I love drama shows and The Fosters is filled with the drama and it's amazing. And then my third show is Switch at Birth, which is another drama show, which again, filled with a lot of drama and it's really, really, really good show. And it's ending the season's ending again, which is going to make me sad because I have to wait until spring, not spring, I have to wait until fall to catch the next season, but I love those two or three shows. So, yeah, and that is it. That is my February favorites videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want, go check out all my other videos. My previous video will hopefully be linked down below. And um, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Hopefully I'll start making videos soon. I'll try, but there's no promises. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time.